Welcome back to the bubble, ladies and gentlemen, and Divide and Conquer version 5. We have just recently wrapped up the Erebor campaign, when we finally wiped out the Goblins of Moria, and this means that it's time for us to select an evil faction to play with. I've only gotten two, um, two requests, really. It's either Isengard or the... Um, Easterlings of Rune, and if I'm not completely mistaken, I think that I wonder if it was um, General Incompetence that that already plays Isengard. So I think I'd like to give Rune a shot. Actually, that uh, campaign, of course, has a great potential to be difficult because I will have Derwinian up here to the west. I will have Dale from the north, and also Erebor even further to the north. And then a lot hangs in the balance if the Warriors of Khand declare against us or not. Because if they want to fight, if they declare against us, then we'll be basically sandwiched in three different directions. And that's not going to be a lot of fun, of course. However, I do believe that they should be a very uh, balanced faction. Well-rounded faction, fiery missiles, potentially strong economy and also unite the tribes because you as rune you get access to a lot of different units depending on the regions that you conquer um because you really is it's really a p um an area very scattered politically so we need to unite the clan clans kind of uh, genghis khan style and that will um give you more units to uh recruit of course, I don't think it's locked to those regions, but um, rather when you conquer a region, you'll be able to recruit them anywhere. So this is going to be a lot of fun and most likely pretty difficult because Darwinian, it's a costume faction, but they also, uh, they're also they also pretty darn strong. Uh, I will be playing on medium difficulty still because I'm still not a professional to play on um, harder difficulties than that. I much more prefer to have a good time playing it than being uh, super crushed uh, because I a bit bite off more than I can chew. Uh, manage all cities, no battle time limit, show CPU moves and also a short victory condition and we'll play until we have accomplished that or been crushed trying. All 25 regions including Gathog, don't really know where that is geographically but I guess I can look it up on the interweb and eliminate the Vale of Dominion. So I don't have to eliminate Dale, I don't have to conquer Erebor or anything like that. Maybe that's the long, right, yeah. That's a long one, but short, take uh, Dominion. So I think we are ready to, uh, ready to rock with this. Hope you're going to enjoy the campaign. I'll see you on the map, battle map. And here we are. Welcome to Divide and Conquer, this very familiar welcome text. Of course, breaking down some um, of the functions in Divide and Conquer and how it works and some things to be aware of, like that bodyguard units can uh, replenish, but not higher than 77 and things like that. Some factions have restricted town or castle deployment and Anduin and Edwith, Dunland, Unlock Cities, Large Cities and Strongholds through free, blah, 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 nothing about rune. Very few factions can build boats. I think if we conquer less, we will be able to build boats. Boats, boats, boats! And then also we will have a bridge here towards uh, Darwinian, so we would be able to hold them there, hopefully. When a faction goes below an average th three settlements, etc., doom stacks. Interesting stuff. And here is, of course, also the uh, description for Rune. And uh, you can feel free to pause and read it if you like to, but I'm going to read into it a little bit more after the recording of the first uh, episode. So don't spend too much time just reading through that. And diplomatic information. Orcs of Gundabad hate everyone. No, they only hate Vale. They are allied with Goblins of Moria, Remnants of Angmar, and Dol Guldur. Yes, so, this is what we got. Khan Margos, what do you have? Oh, damn. Hello. Mercenaries. Uh, you have Lok Narim. Ranged units. 5 me missile. 10 armor. Not to scoff at. Nothing compared to... Uh, compared to uh, Elrond's bodyguard, though. But they are not uh, half bad. 
wonder if it's a wor it's a good idea to already buy the far rune mercenaries or if I rather should wait because of course it's a good idea to go for last as soon as possible and also to go far south and start taking these regions because I think they unlock like uh, a lot of ranged units. So one part of me wants to just turtle up a little bit, put some units into forts and then just chill. But I don't think that's really how I should go about this. You're not free upkeep anyway, so who cares about that? Lest, you're a strong freaking settlement. So, I have no idea how to play this faction, so I'm just gonna go balls to the wall. You're not free upkeep. Join that army. And then start moving south. And we are losing... Um, we are losing resources quite rapidly so if you move out i think there should be a settlement okay this i think it's a settlement like here or somewhere right in here but it's still dale so is that really the highest priority for me i don't know diplomat right off the bat and also i will not be um, recruiting anything right now because it's much more important to me to first of all mason's hall warlord's hall um this is of course good, free upkeep, etc. But I'm gonna go with the Mason's Hall first. It's pretty cheap. Cheap. That's a bad. Cheap is the correct pronunciation. Chicken farming is important as well, so we can get some economic buildings here. But first of all, start off with the Mason's Hall, so it's a bit cheaper to uh, build my stuff. Uh, apart from that, just ready to go on to the next turn. And right now in the beginning, this is gonna happen quite a lot. I just hope that we will be able to take some settlements before Mordor takes the southern ones. And also because uh, before I'm completely broke. Something tells me that this is kind of a meta. What are you doing? Dillweed. That might not be a good idea. Independent general, so they're not gonna siege me or anything like that. And I will not be getting any more mercenaries anytime soon. There we go. We have uh, we have Algier there. Okay. Cool beans. So then I think I'd like you to move west and uh, keep an eye on Dorwinian because Dale starts like all the way up here. Uh, I hope. Or they might start with more regions, but anyway, it's gonna take a while before they reach the Sea of Rune. Maybe it would actually be a good idea to get some defensive units here. And we can get another diplomat. Actually, get that one first, because I want to start trading as soon as possible. Diplomacy, I have trade rights with Khand, but trade rights with Mordor. Uh, I'm thinking if it might be a good idea to actually start trading with Dale right off the bat as well. Derwinian won't... Um, they won't be my friends, that's for sure. Damn, I have so far to go before I even can start uh, trading with anyone. But okay, uh, I guess Dol Guldur is a great start. I have come to the end. So Today you can walk home. over there. And yes, no that's master. it again. And turn. And we will be losing like 1,000 each turn. Wouldn't have done that if I put some units into the fort. So that's on me. That's my B. My B. And okay. The Vale of Anduin. The Anduin Vale. Uh, Dale. Onazanar. New mission. Send an emissary to the Vale of Drowinia. Really? I'm not... They're not pissed at me yet. Yes, my master. Awesome. As you will. What is it you wish to discuss? Then get trade rights with them. You hold us at ransom, and you know this. Would be Drowinia. so awkward if I'm able to uh, <laughs> make an ally out of them. That would have been awkward. As now I can keep will. walking. The what do we get? Awaits. 750 gold. Thank you. Relics of Dragons. You can read this if you'd like to. I will most likely read it, read it myself on the recording later. Cool beans. Dragons are cool. We spent even more money and we will be going straight into bankruptcy. Uh, now we've got the Mason's Hall there though, so that's great. I'm thinking if I should go with a grain exchange, maybe. 
Grain Exchange, Warlord's Hall is expensive though. Leather Tanner, I need to go with some pretty cheap buildings here in the beginning. But first of all, let's start with the Grain Exchange. And hopefully make some money that way. You go into the fort. We are still losing 1600 each turn. Yes. At once. Might be a good idea to actually know where I should be going, to be honest. Keep going. Yes, noble master. Okay, I think I'll just follow the yellow brick road. At once. We move at Didn't find anything light. there. That's My awkward. And you, agent. Maybe I'll use you as a sheep. Um, as a poor man's spy. Just to find the first settlement. Because I would like to take that before Mordor takes it. And beco before I'm completely broke. That would be a hoot. Okay, if yes, I keep master. going down... Okay, there we have Mataram. And don't really know what that's good for, win. though. As you because I don't think it's one of those really important settlements for us to take yes, in the south. Or it might be one of the two. At once. Okay. Lay siege for to that one. We shall endure outside the and then we'll march Lay and take siege. Mataram. Has the time I think that should strike. be good enough. Orders. You into the fort. And then... Won't recruit anything. And that's still waiting to be built. Great my stuff. You get over that's there. And you just my keep walking. You're gonna take a while for you to reach Dol Guldur. But okay. So now we found Mataram. And that's where we have to go uh, later. So you keep going west. We have no reason to go talk to the Khans. Because we are already allied with them. Maybe, yeah. You can actually uh, start walking towards Gondor. Yes, my master. Beautiful. Here. End of turn report. Spent a lot of money. I mean, I could have saved myself so much trouble if I just like put four units into the fort. But I don't do that stuff. Okay. Now we're ready again. They might sally out again. They might not. Uh, we will still lose a lot of money next turn. But hopefully a lot of this will balance out when um, we start taking some regions. I hope so. Sincerely do. Sincerely do. Hope all of you are having a great day, by the way, that you're doing alright. And that you're happy in whatever endeavors you go, you pursue. Noble one. And uh, now we will need to have As you will. the next, the, or As the first you rather, As you will. battle of this, uh, of this campaign. You stand here and keep an eye out on these wine drinkers. I don't mean that as an insult because um, I'm a bit of a wine drinker myself. And beer, etc. But this is not a channel for that. Okay. You are ready there. Have we recruited anything more here? No. And I don't think we will either, to be completely honest. And soon we'll make some money from the grain exchange. First of all, yes, let's deal no, with master. this. this will be an honorable Save, and now we can create a new one. Rune. Beautiful. Always nice creating a new save. And we are on it. I don't think these settlements should have a lot of... Um, Towers, to be honest, at least not any really difficult ones. But if we're able to just sack it, uh, keep it without a um, governor, that would be beautiful indeed. Oh, look at this. Uh, General's bodyguard, the Lokenarim. 128 missiles. Beautiful. Of course, the ambition is to eventually have only, like, these golden units. Okay, they do have towers, but I guess some only some pretty bad ones. And you, I think we can break down one piece of the wall over there as well. We have two units of crossbows. And they can only shoot in a straight line. So, they will not be very useful in the beginning. We have you... Then we have the Daritai Warriors, which are basically the next level of the Daritai clan. 
clansmen and they are decent basic infantry so I've heard at least great start the battle and we can break down the gate there as well they're aiming for the archers cheeky buggers okay move everyone back for now looks like they are moving a lot of units back from the um, back from the gate as well to be honest all of them moving back to the town center I guess body nobles cavalry you say that's not great but this is of course going to hurt quite a bit and I'm actually prepared for that the battering ram is in place Awesome. It will but not look be at long this. Before our enemy's defenses fall. Oh, our units are just absolutely dying. Okay, let's see if we can get you to run up and start shooting at the cavalry, actually. Because I think that's, yeah, that's their uh, general. And the gate might soon be down. Start running up our troops. And you will move as well, and you will move as well, and we will start moving up our crossbows as well. This is going great so far. Ram has done its work. Great. And now is the time now to fight. you run in and attack the nobles. You can actually stop shooting for now. Because, first of all, we need to kill uh, this unit to activate the towers. But I think all of them will start moving uh, towards the gate now as well. So, that's going to hurt as well, of course. We are losing units! Okay, and everyone's moving. They seem to have a lot of cavalry, which I'm not that big of a fan of, actually. And where are you going? All of you are coming this way. So I think it would be a great idea to put the crossbows, actually the archers, right here. There we go. And then well the crossbows move up as well. See this and, lose heart. and they are missile cavalry. So if we are able to tie them up with our infantry, that might be... A good thing. We've lost 4%, but I think that in this uh, series is going to be... I'll be losing a lot of units a lot of the time. You start shooting at the raiders. Basically, all of you can start shooting over here. And can you run up and maybe use some skill? Because I think these guys are about to break. And now... It didn't blink as uh, rapidly anymore, so that's good. What is this? You run in. And how's it going with their freaking general? Get in there and take him down, so then we will not be under fire from these towers anymore, and that's going to be great stuff. I'm not a big fan of that... Um of how you're shooting those arrows doing the halbitzer shots that's not good at all but you are getting some kills though god bless you you are getting some kills great stuff great stuff you are activated and i want you you aren't active so you can run in and help out over there you run in and help out and I think the crossbows should actually have a pretty decent, um, pretty decent angle right there. We we'll run up with the general as well, blow the horn. I think we're gonna have to use that one as many times as possible. Oh come on! The enemy's general lies dead. Beautiful. The enemy general is dead. That should have a heavy effect on their uh, morale, hopefully. But we still need to kill the freaking uh, horse. Archer, the worst men. There we go. And you are shooting at the bottom raiders. They still have a lot of units left. But we are hitting kind of a stalemate right now. What are you doing? Which unit is sending fire arrows? I don't recall having said that you should do that. Why are you shooting fire arrows? 
Oh, we are losing a lot of units here. Why? Who's sending fire arrows and how can I get you to stop? I don't know if I actually can get them to stop. Okay, at least an enemy general is down and their cavalry is down as well. Great, so now let's see if we can get you to run around this side. And we can... Really? You seem to have very different opinions on which uh, the closest way is to get there, but okay. Okay. And all of you can now stop firing, please. Because it would be a lot of fun if we could be able to... Right, there they are. We have to start shooting at them from uh, from this side instead, I suppose. But they are missile units as well, so they shouldn't be that efficient in melee, hopefully. Man, lost 19%. They've lost more though, so that's always a good thing. And how's it going over here? Victory is well within our grasp. In time, our foe will surely see this and lose heart. We will be attacking these riders, hopefully tie them up quite early. But, I mean, the towers are, of course, our biggest adversary right now. They are dealing a lot of damage to us. Okay, what if I get you... Oh my god, this is a drag. What are you? How can I use you as, be as best? as good as possible there we go move up and start shooting at the hunters maybe and if I move put you in front and put the general behind there we go and maybe you can start getting some shots off at the cavalry instead the raiders Can you hit the raiders? Yes. Go aim for them instead. How's it going over here? Right. We are active. I want you to start try to just push through. This is a real... Uh, this is a dwarf... Uh, dwarf's strategy. For sure. But they are wavering though. Bra Barun raiders. And we have the numbers, and this might just mean that we won't be losing that much money anymore. Hopefully. You try to push through. What's it looking like over here? Okay. And... You... Why are you shooting fire arrows, and how can I get you to stop that shit? Because I think they might be less accurate than regular arrows. We must pray they lose their will what are you fight. doing? Okay. At least we are winning so far. We lost 26, they lost 55. So that's good at least. You run up over here and I'll try to get you to attack their ranged units. Over here. How's it going for you? Yeah, I might just throw you in here as well, actually. Try to get you to run around, maybe. How's uh, it going over here? What are you doing, I want? Oh, are you kidding me? Are all of you pulling back instead of running in here? You are. Man. Okay, let's see if we can start pushing through. A lot of them are actually still firing. Come on. There we go. Get in that big juicy center. Blow the horn. Actually, it looks like... Oh, breakdancing. It looks like their archers are killing uh, my units with quite big ease. How's it going for you? 
I want all of it. Okay. So their archers actually pulled back. Run in then. I get a bit tired from the ordeal. We have lost 34% and our units are starting to go down quickly right now. We are actually pushing through here. And we have taken some prisoners as well, which is great. I mean, so far... Uh, right now in the beginning, of course... This is go. It's going to be a lot of uh, tiny cockups and um, maybe a lot of lost battles as well. But I just hope that I will be able to um, to keep a winning strategy. Really beautiful. Everyone dead. We lost basically as many units. Cannot be said otherwise. So we should be uh, not as much in the red anymore. We healed a couple of units, actually. That's great. MVP is the Daritai Clansman. The basic um, axe wielders. Great job. Great job. And also now, I think I'd like to merge a lot of them up. And then we should start moving on to the, um, to the other northern region that was right behind us. I think that's the right one to take. Um, I think it's this one that I should take, or it's someone even more to the west here, I'm not sure. We have exact settlement. Victory. They are still happy though, that's fortunate. And we can decrease the tax rate. We don't need to do that though. We don't need to do that. So first of all, uh, upgrade the town, and then I'd like for you to... Russell, no. Mason's Hall, Militia Garrison, Meeting Hall. I'd like to go for Mason's Hall, actually. Or should I go for Grain Exchange? Um, hmm. Go for the... Or actually, we should be going for Culture first, right? Men of the East. Nomadic? I think that's conned, and this is us. I think we already have a pretty decent... I think we already have a pretty decent uh, culture there. So, merge up. Look at this, how beautiful. And I don't think I'll be able to take you out, though. I think that's the thing. If I take you out, it's still actually pretty halfway decent. Okay, and I don't think we should... Um, that is further east west that we need to go. Damn, I'm not sure about these things. But... I will bring along, first of all, actually, lower the tax rate. And then, we will keep moving back with a army. We'll leave some of the more wounded groups. And also some archers. If I take you out, that's actually okay. Great. So, move here. Yeah, the watchtower, and we might need something to hold the line. I don't know. I don't know. Um, anyway, I would like to take this settlement. Yes, my master. And you are mo still moving west, which is great. And you keep an eye on these Darwinian sisses, and we are still losing money. Damn. And I'll upgrade you at 16, so I do not think we'll be able to upgrade these uh, settlement anytime soon. So a higher tax rate is absolutely okay right now. Yes, noble master. We upkeep while garrisoned. Great stuff, great stuff. And when you moving back, can I take you out of there? I can. Put you into the fort. Still losing money though. An honor to serve. But eventually, we'll have it all figured out. We'll just move to the end turn. We'll, we'll go into the red. Hot damn. And we won't solve that until... Um, unless... We start losing units rapidly. Doesn't feel like there are as many... Factions anymore to keep an eye on. Interesting. Noble one. Yes. And build a tower. A watch here. 
and at build once. a tower. We move at first light. And oh, damn! What's up with these strong garrisons? So it will be a spearman. Let's get the hunters as well. I really want to take this settlement. How's it going here? You're still building. Now you're starting to build the Mason's Hall. Great. And after that, we'll be able to start building um, grain exchanges and things like that. Economic buildings, which we are absolutely going to need. And it's good that you're going through this territory so we'll know what's close by. Mistran, you got the grain exchange, which is grains. Okay, that was really, really bad joke. Chicken farming. Now we need to take a look at what will bring us the most money. That didn't give us any money at all, weirdly. Uh, trading post will increase the trade a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. What about communal farming? That will increase it a bit as well, but the devastation also sucks. Market... Okay, I think that I will be going for the uh, Warlord's Hall should be a good idea, but I'm actually going to go for the trading post. And hopefully that will make us some money. My eyes are yours. And the spine is over there, and you gotta keep walking. As you will. As you will. And you as well, my friend. Yes, my master. You've already walked as far as you can go. But you... Yes, okay, damn! Master. I I forget so easily that I've already done my moves. How is that independence, uh, independent army causing devastation to my lands when they are not even in my lands? That's something I'd like to know. And the, now you're moving south. But... I will be laying siege to this settlement. Then I'm thinking that I might actually want to maintain that siege for a little while. We are making money! Yes! Yes! Construction complete. Mason's Hall in Enmala Enmahad. I'm thinking something more to generate money. Like a grain exchange. Beautiful. And then as soon as our um, as you will. diplomats... As you will. Resting here, I have come to the end. Start reaching Today's some uh, settlements. I did not want to sell my. Um, as you will, as you will. I did not want I to sell to my road. map information to Drawinian because duh, I'm gonna declare war on him soon. Was that your best shot? Yeah, pretty much was my best shot actually. Not a big fan what of how I strong you are. I think I might actually spend the last of my Monet on one of these bad boys, but I. I'm still in the red though, but getting one of those will make it a lot easier to win what's coming uh, next. So, yeah, we are going down in the red. Interesting stuff, interesting stuff. Maybe we should have thrown everything into Lest first. But they have Low Green Bodyguards, Udeg Marines, Arula Dragon Guard. They have a lot of really scary troops here actually. So I don't know if it's uh, correct that it should be the first priority. What it happens if I increase the tax rate just a smidge? Okay. Makes them a l It works a little bit. And if I take the Denti Warriors out, then that's a catastrophe. Okay. So that's done. That's done, done, done. I'm also serve. wondering if it's a bad idea to have you... Nope. You belong in there. My ears are yours. Great, so now we're again. Moving to the end turn, and then we'll see if we will be attacked by the independent realm. And then we'll have to fight this one on the battlefield, and just pray that it's going to end up in our favor. No, no one attacked us. And we actually are still in the green. How the hell did that happen? Still very happy about it though. And they will surrender in three turns, so I actually will be. I cannot go there. 
giving it another uh, giving it another turn or so. Yes, my master. Okay. Damn, a lot of lot of uh, territories to cross here. I have come to the end okay, and just like that, road. ready to end another turn. Going by quickly these turns. And hopefully when we take Mataram, we will not be in such bad shape. We spent, we lost 25 gold coins. Oh my god. And now... I will actually lower the tax rate because you start to get pissed for some reason. And what? What the hell? Okay, we might actually have to go for this now. Okay, we got a general. That's the reason why. So, move you down there, free upkeep, and then we're still losing money. So, I might as well send you over to uh, N Mahad. Actually. Okay, 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 okay. And yes, diplomat, keep on walking. Varfest. What the hell? What is this? <laughs> Freaking two stacks are guarding these places. Ah, damn. Okay, and you keep walking as well. I don't think Dol Guldur will have taken this settlement yet. But I hope that we very soon will start getting messages that, oh, you will get a lot of money if you talk to this faction and things like that. Okay, let's go into the red, shall we? That's beautiful spot of crippling debt. Which we'll eventually dig ourselves out of, obviously, but... A suitable husband. Can I accept that? Yeah, I actually could. Where is he at, though? Okay, you're yes, there. You move into the fort. We are still spending Monet, big time. You, you march south, and... Right. Yes, my master. You will keep walking. You will. Resting here. Okay. Your will. A big guess. As you will. No. Okay, right, yes. Uh, trade rights. And give map information if you make a single payment of bankrupt, so 600. Be thankful we accept this proposal. I fear my lord will not be happy that I have accepted. Yeah, but I am, so screw that. Okay, great, so... That's one trade agreement struck. Now I have... Okay, I think I'm gonna go north with this one. With the Vale of Anduin and the Woodland Realm, etc. The really close ones. That I might actually be doing some trades with. Trading post and grain exchange. So this should give us still losing money. Hot damn. And the next turn they will be sallying out. Orders. And I think I'll actually accept uh, them selling out, to be honest. Let's end the turn. Um, because if they are the aggressors, I won't have to deal with the freaking towers and things like that. Hello? Would have been awesome if they would have just given up, though. But that doesn't happen every day. Let's save, and I'll see you... Well, I don't need to pause the recording for the battle map, but we should... The balance of power is in our favor, but they have so much cavalry. So much cavalry. Let's just see what we got. I think I will just attempt... I won't... I wonder if I'll get the opportunity to deploy my troops. Or if I'll just have to start fighting right off the bat. Yeah, I think that answered um, my question for me. And there we go. And they are quick. Run, and you run up, run up. Damn. You try to attack the nobles. Okay, and now they are moving back. Okay. So now we can select all of you, and you 
start all of you start shooting at uh, the warrior nobles please and oh my god their cavalry is so absolutely going to be a minute a menace but we should start sending in our troops just to uh, tie them up because I do not want their cavalry to be running around getting ideas and you I wonder I think the best thing to do with you is march you around on the sides because you can only shoot the straight lines of course there we go we have lost 5% killed 7 but at least should be able to start tying up their cavalry now with units that are quite adept well within our grasp. at killing cavalry. See this and lose heart. Are they going here? Okay, you run in there. Actually, the units are pretty mobile. I like that a lot. Okay, you. I want you to... Damn. All the freaking cavalry. I want you to run in and attack from the side. How about these lads? I'd rather have you up on this side, actually, because I think that main line will hold. You run up. And a lot of them are actually starting to pull back. Okay, there we go. You are charging in, which works just fine for me. There we go, run up. We have lost 17%. But, I mean, their units are pulling back and we will still have to fight them on... Uh, we'll still have to fight them on the square. Only half the enemy force remains. We must there we go, charge in. Fight. You as well, get in there. Uh, we've lost 20%, but we've killed... Damn, killed quite a few, that's awesome. And Rovarian Hunters need to start uh, moving as well. You shoot at the Baroon Raiders. And I think they should die quite quickly to the crossbow bolts, actually. Come on. Come on. That was actually quite efficient, and they started pulling back as well. There we go. And hopefully we'll be able to trap them so that the door stays open. Hopefully. And that is... Right. All their units are pulling back, which is great. Now their morale is absolutely in the toilet. And I would love to see... Okay, maybe it's just... Send in the infantry. I'll send in the hunters as well. And you... I will actually want you to pull back because it looks like you can, you are taking a beating from their uh, rangers. And of course, you can, res you can replenish your units, but only up to 77. So, I actually want you to maintain as many units as possible. There we go. And they are already broken, already routing. Come on, run in. Want some speed. There we go. What are you shooting at? Okay, that's actually good. You're firing at the uh, nobles. That's good. You need to pull back. You need to pull back. Why, why are the crossbows at the front? That's ridiculous. Like, everyone else is standing in line, waiting for their turn, but for some reason, the crossbows, who I don't want at the front line, are eager as hell to get to the front line. There we go. Take them down!
And you march in as well. How's it going here? I think their general should be dead, the but he's not. Okay, dead. yeah. Now he's there it is. Since their doom upon them. Right, you can start pulling back, and I've lost so many archers. So, so many archers. Come on, just keep pushing through. Lost 33%. I'm guessing I will lose at least 50 in this uh, battle. There we go. Keep pushing through. At least it looks like it's mostly our units left. And that's good. That's good. I absolutely believe that the Rovarian Spearmen, the Rovarian Spearmen and the Hunters, at least the Spearmen has done a really good job here. Because they were in the front line for quite a while taking on these ranged um, or cavalry horse archers. Come on. Now it's just a grunt. Oh, come on, Rovarian Spearmen. Beautiful. 98%, 99. Lord, in Beautiful. We lost as many victory units as they did. And well but I think we healed Cannot a few as well, right? Otherwise. Yeah, we did. We did. Did not heal any of the um, of the bodyguard, unfortunately. But Mataram is ours. And that's a win. That's a win. And also, most likely, we will not be paying as much in army upkeep. So we got that going for us. And now I think this is as far east as I will be going right now. Uh, might... Your faith and courage have might rather send troops... Um, These are now our people's Kandish lives. clans gather. Right, this is what I was talking about. With the taking of the Mataram and En Mahad, the local clans of Kandish warriors have been broken and now have started to unite under a strong leader of great skill and ferocity. That's not me, that must be someone else. This horde has leveled their banners before the dragon of Rune, and now ride and step beside our warriors. Every day, more clansmen bring their families and horses to our towns, filled with lust for loot and glory. And hopefully that will actually make us some money. Right, you go talk yes, to the Anduin yes, Vale, please. I have come to the end of today's road. And right, we made some money. Beautiful. Trade increase, Tardan, Aspiring Commander, plus two command, that's awesome. Path block at for Yuruk. And yes, don't need to talk to more, that's if Honored friends. I can sell you, you my uh, map info for 600. I suppose we could buy. Great, that's one way to make money, I suppose. You now, mean? just keep yes, moving, just keep moving, down talk to uh, Gondor. As you will. The last here. alliance, cool beans. Talk to Gondor, and then I think, yeah, I should move you down. Talk to Harad, Umbar, Dolamroth, etc. That's what I should do. Yes, my master. Okay, great. How broke are we now? We are making 904, and that's taken into consideration that we have a lot of. Orders. Okay, what if I move you into that settlement, actually? Don't have anything to repair, weirdly enough. And the culture is pretty good, men of the east-ish. But I still want to go for... I mean, that's good culture right there. I want to go with the grain exchange still. Is it any use in retraining you? Maybe. I don't even have a recruitment spot. So, we do not take that. And we can't get a Lord's Hall. Meeting hall, right. We can actually get one of those. So let's leave the mercenaries in here for now. Yes, and I'll take How may I serve? you How may I out serve? of here. And that's actually okay. An honor to serve. We are losing some money now, but not that bad, fortunately yes, enough. An honor to serve. And, but we will keep yes. moving and build uh, towers here. along the At way a watch and here. move up to try and take this uh, castle because lest, lest not. <laughs> okay. Noble one. 
keep moving, building towers, but also it's a bit of a waste to have the only army I have trapped out here. Oh, hello! Right, Tardan, and I get units as well. That's why I'm getting kind of broke-ish. Uh, Warrior, Varyag Nobles, beautiful. Glad to have you in the family, my, bro my brother, my man. You go down, and this, of course, is going to cost me quite a bit. But now we can move these four into the fort, and we are making money again. How may I serve? And I want you... How may I serve? You aren't free upkeep anyway, so you might as well go down and join them. And then I think I'm gonna keep it like that. We are starting to... Um, starting to get things to do, you know? We're starting to have... Heroes or uh, generals to move around, which is absolutely great. That region is still rebel or independent. Yes, noble master. But it would be nice to take this uh, this settlement and start to try and mapping around the Sea of Rune. But also we do need to take less so that we can start getting um, boats. But that is a large town and that means that it's going to hurt tremendously when I try to take that one. Orders. Orders. Okay, I'm, I think that I will actually be... I can't, can I build something here, I wonder? Leather Tanner. I mean, why the heck not, right? I think it at least makes us like 40 or something like that. And it's good for armor as well, so we got that going for us. Now, you have moved. You have moved. And the spy is where he is. So we can end the turn. Damn, that was a big chunk of land I just got there. And I must be right smack dab on the border of Khand right now. I think they are right down below me, aren't you? Aren't they? I can't see that right now, obviously. But most likely they're down here. But I still hope that they will not be uh, attacking me. An honor to serve. How okay. May I serve? Join up. Our and at move. Once. We move at first light. First, first light of the fifth day. And fight, take this independent castle. I think independent castle or independent large town. This one actually gives us boats. And that will be good for trade as well. We get the port. Yeah. Oh my god. I don't know what I want to do. I don't think there's a rush going west. But I would like to take this bridge. So let's march. Um... Oh, I'm sorry, no rush pushing north, because Dale is most likely going to take their sweet time. We can recruit some stuff. I think I would like to go with some Daritai warriors, but I am in the green, and I don't want to mess with that dynamic, to be honest. Yes, noble master. But here we are retraining some units, so I think that I will be moving them um, yes, out, at least the spears. Master. Later, and you yes. will keep on moving towards Emahad, which is great, 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 great. You just keep moving, as you will. As you will. and you will go as down to Karandros and talk to Gondor, and then you'll just keep moving south. Really, sounds simple enough, doesn't it? Yes, my master. As now we will. just have to pray that we are not blo blocked too many times. Because we really need to get uh, there to talk to uh, the Vale of Anduin. The Anduin Vale, sorry. Okay, okay, okay. We are retraining some troops. And hopefully that will make them uh, up to full strength. Get them up to full strength. And then I'll be able to uh, march them up through the northwest. And uh, reinforce the army sieging Lest. Man. Nervous, really nervous actually. Because I feel so vulnerable right now in the beginning. I'm like a freshly birthed calf. Calf, calf, calf. We close for battle. That has everything to lose. Light. And not much to gain. <laughs> okay, we can get a grain exchange, but a Mason's Hall would be good here. But actually, let's first of all. 
Just go with the grain exchange. Can we get anything in En Mahad? Nope. That's a no. But you can actually join up because you're not free upkeep anyway. And we can't build anything more here. We could get some more Dari Tai clansmen just to help out with the siege, actually. And they are sheep. They are the trash, trashily, trashy trash that we have. And now you can go out and explore your way to the fort. And then uh, in the next turn, you will be uh, sent out to just build some towers every now and again. But now... As you will. We there can get trade rights with Gondor, this and they are meager. Interest. Trade rights, their demands pay tribute. What? Make a counter offer. How about not doing that? And um, I will also give you map information if you make a single payment of six hundred. This should still be balanced. You hold us at ransom. And Great. You know so now we got our trading rights, and we still would have sold our map information for 600, so Until I think that's again. okay. You're you will now start marching south, As you will. and we might be uh, encountering like Harad somewhere down here or something like that, and um, Harad over here at least, and then Umbar should be landing somewhere around here, and Dolamroth as well up here. So we do have a little uh, bit of a tour to go on. Yes, my master. As you will. As Beautiful. You will. And it looks like, knock on wood, that we might actually be able to reach Anduin uh, in time. Less thing here. Hope so. End of turn. We made some money. Great. And we got Leather Tanner and a meeting hall in Mataram. So now we are starting to retrain our units. And also building a grain exchange, which is great. Mistran, you got the leather tanner, and there's nothing more that we can afford to get here, unfortunately. Unfortunately. I'm wondering if I should rather go with these, though. I uh, saw on a uh, faction overview for the 4.5 Divide and Conquer that the I should always pick the Daritai Warriors first, and then the Daritai Clansmen. So I'm going with that. And Double you... One. Damn, have I already exhausted all my movement points? What the damn hell? But okay, I guess... Then it's already time for... Another turn, hot damn, we are sprinting through turns. Also, I do believe that we... I have no idea how long I've been recording, actually. But I think I'll give it another 15 minutes. Yes, my master. And uh, hopefully the episode won't be... Too long. As you will. Less thing Keep marching here. down. End of turn report. Right. Recruitment. Look at this. And what happened to you when you were retrained? Oh, noise. Full power. That's awesome. So then we can actually start sending you uh, north towards Lest. And you will yes, no reinforce master. this army. Yes. Awesome. Beautiful. And you will reinforce them as well. Take another step, and then we'll march on to less. You go there. Think you are safe enough-ish. And path block, right. So now, you have already moved. Your will. You will talk to the Vale of Anduin. Vale of Anduin, Anduin Vale, what the hell? Uh, trade rights. You hold us at ransom. Very well. Uh, they are very poor, but they are not bankrupt, so I should be getting 750 or maybe even 8 for my map info. Maybe even 8. Let's see if it's balanced. This proposal is of little interest. Okay. Now there's a break glass, break glass in case of emergency if they take 600 now. This isn't going to okay. This meeting so this isn't going meeting. to happen now. We'll just have Goodbye. to wait a turn. But we got 750 for that uh, quest, nonetheless, and that's great stuff. Orders. Great stuff indeed. Now you to serve. wanted to move Your as far as side. you can and still at be once. able to go back. Using the cover of the Beautiful. Look Setting at that. 
so great when you get some good visibility up and running. And you are a cavalry unit, so I should be able to use... We are actually making money, so let's be a little sneaky and send you out you shall see all to build here. towers we in must. this region. Man, you I've been missing um, from here. We rest um, here until cavalry generals. Okay, we do have some money. What I want now, market, probably, actually. Probably make some more money, and just like that, we're broke again. This is fun. And when I don't need a master mason, so oh, mines, you say? Expensive mines, hot damn. The trading post, a lot of these are things that we really should get going. Leather tanner, I mean, that's some sheep stuff right there, but it might be just as well to queue that up, to be honest. You are already building, you are already building. Yes, noble. And already, look at that, new turn, already. Is it already four seconds ago? Also, it might be a good idea if... Thank you, a thousand gold coins, that's awesome. How may I and also, it might be a good idea... To might not hurt to have a bit of a longer first episode because we have so much stuff we need to get done here spend some money start out with 900 back to new expansions of baras you got uh, plus two farming plus one public happiness plus two percent trade this is great plus one command commanding cavalry and plus one line of sight and i think could that be you ardan i don't know could be as you will. Could also be someone else. These lands hide our forces well. You shall see all and just here. keep on you shall see pushing all out towers here. all the way down to the border of Khand. And oh, you yes. start we moving are. north. The sun sets on and the do we really have... We didn't get any constructions finished. We did get some started though, which is beautiful. But I will not start to retrain or train any new troops yet maybe i, I should though just throw everything into lest because look at this i do not think that i'm strong enough to take care of these units so let's just do that let's be a bit stupid Orders. train some crossbowmen might be a good idea but also data tie warriors because i think what i only I have here is there. A lot of range, but actually I do have some, some, um, we close for battle. you do have some melee, but also a lot of ranged, and they do not have a lot of cavalry, fortunately. The Dragon Riders, though, they are charging units, 76 of those bad boys, so I will be needing, Double one. I did start training here, I'm and I will need some Rovarian Spearmen, because they are skilled against mounts so that's what we're gonna have to do and once again and down into the red beautiful stuff beautiful stuff might be a good idea to bring even more of these units just bring a full freaking stack and see what see what happens okay that's good so far you my friend Yes, my master. Keep marching south. A lot of Gondor As running around. Will. Not a big fan of that, to be honest. As you will. And this independent realm. So you Follows can go west from here. And now, let's see Your again. Will. What is it you wish to discuss? Um, map information. Single payment of 600. Should accept this. Yes, you it did. Seems farewell, then. Great, and that's Vale Anduin Vale. Now we need to march up and talk to uh, Orcs of Gundabad, Erebor, Dale, um, Woodland Realm. We have a lot of factions to talk about, to talk to here, which is great. And hopefully we'll get some quests for all of them as well. Orders. Oh, you've already built towers. It's already Tell time me, for another turn. I think we're gonna end the episode after turn uh, 20, unless we... Uh, find ourselves in a carfuffle. Beautiful. Dol Amroth. Great. Actually, already on my way there. As you will. As you will. As you will. As you will. Where was the Dol Amroth settlement? You are there. 
Your win. Beautiful. Resting here. So then we get some thing for that as well. We made some money. We have got a grain exchange, which is great. And we are actually still making some money. But I'm thinking here, Mataram, that's the only settlement where I finished a building. And the general is already free upkeep. So Mason's, uh, Mason's Hall, I'm thinking of the meeting hall. I think it's always a good investment. Uh, leather Tanner is also a good investment, obviously, and it's a lot cheaper. Let's go with the... Oh my god, let's go with the Mason's Hall, first of all. Right, and then we Order. will be massing up Order. our troops Order. right here. And you march. march out, yes. join up with Order. them, and then we'll march on Lest. Hopefully, Darwinian can just throw a couple of bodies against the wall without actually taking it. That would be swell. And then... You yes, just keep walking. You will. And we also have the Goblins of Moria most likely here, but one thing at a time. One thing at a time. So first we go up and we get trading rights from Gundabad, then we just march east and take Erebor. And down here we have like Erebor, Dale, Woodland Realm right next to each other. So that's of course very smooth sailing. Already finished. And the next turn, and I forgot to build towers with my uh, cavalry general. That's too bad. Too bad. But now he's well rested to build some for this turn. Bride presented. Yeah, sure, let's get married. Orders. And As you move will. down, build a tower, move down, build a tower. You shall see all I don't even here. see my freaking border yet, man. And you should go down here, and that's where you should place uh, the last one, most likely. Man, really big uh, change from uh, the Dwarven economy, that's for damn sure. Okay, actually, yeah, Abdus General. Um, trait increase of Abdus, promising commander, and Kargi telescope, plus one line of sight. I'm wondering if it could be a good idea to bring you along here. But okay. They are amassing a force. I wonder, I think it might be a good idea to actually let them uh, deal the first blow on Lest. Making it a bit weaker. And then hopefully I will be able to um, deal the next one. A meeting hall is a good idea to have here for some free upkeep and recruitment spots. Gondor and Isengard are bitching. Now. Yes, my master. As you Dol Amroth, you say? What is it you wish to discuss? Bade rights, I'd like to discuss. You hold us at ransom. And Very well. What and you are bankrupt, so that's a 600 investment for you. I do not believe I'm able to accept. No. Another proposition for us then? But now I think because they already said no, they are less likely to accept the next one. Let's not take this any. Yeah. This meeting was disappointing. Really? Goodbye. Really? I'm not that disappointed actually. But now we started the construction of the meeting hall here, so that's great. And you are already out of movement points. You should just get on your way. That's Valesman. Valesman, Beyond's Hall. Tomorrow's just keep walking. I, have come to the end. I think that's Today's it. I will be order. hanging on to this border and hopefully they will just lose um, in their attempts to take less. Or if they manage to take it, then we'll actually then we'll just go to war against Darwinian, I suppose. That's just what we're gonna have to do. Right presented, absolutely. New mission, take less. Yeah, I know, you'd love for me to do that, wouldn't you? But then it feels like I would be going straight into the jaws of Darwinian, actually. So I would like for them to... Okay, I stand... I'll stand here on the border. And then as soon as they've taken it, most likely they will have a weaker garrison than this. Then I can just jump in and take it. 
Leather worker, is that really the best investment for me right now? Made 271. Damn! Mistran, you got a market. And you could... Yeah, that's right. The leather worker is the only thing there. Mataram, you got the mason's hall. Thinking leather tanner. Brothel actually gives us some money as well. And the ability to recruit spies. But that's not my highest priority right now. I'll upgrade you to 5,000. Feels like it's going to take a while until we get there. So actually increase the taxes in, um, in Mataram and Emahad. I will be increasing your taxes as well because you're so damn giddy. And I think you should be getting... You actually have pretty decent acumen. That's great. I think you should be holding this quite nicely. Yes, noble master. Right, we have Order. four. As you will. And there we have the border. We, we have 474. You shall see all 15 for each tower. We march. Here we go. You shall see all and this is, of course, Khan territory. And can I move... How far out can I move At you? Once. And you can still go back. Yes. That's pushing it. There we go. Here. Get back. Getting some better visibility. Now, I mean... Starting to get pretty worried, actually. What if they just take less and then it's... And then they get uh, really strong out of it. Oh, damn, I should have talked to Lamrov. Right. I will do that in this turn and hopefully be able to sell my map information to those. Buggers. Yes, there we go. As you will talk to them in Vrakeberg. And we have a meeting hall and Mahad. Now, I think trading post. Actually. And there we go. We made 300 and we spent that right away. Orders. As you there will. we go. Build a tower. You shall see and all there we here. go. We build march. a tower. You shall see there all we go. Here. Build a tower. We are getting beautiful visibility right here. here. Rest here until dawn. Okay, how's it going here? Are you moving back? Freaking cowards. Yes, no. Okay. Master. I will lay siege will to less then. Honorable. And then I'll just siege them out, to be honest. Outside their walls. Lay siege. They can hold for six As turns. I'll just, like I said, I'll maintain the siege right there. Ooh, I can recruit Lokarim bodyguards already. Ah, damn, and Barun Riders, right. And now flat baroque again. So let's go to the. Actually, have I moved all of my? You have moved as far as you can. I want you yes, to try to sell. You have a proposition for us. My map info yet again. No, we cannot. Okay, you will just not do that, won't you? As you will. Freaking dickweeds. As you okay. Will. And this is independent territory, so it might not be in our best interest to keep pushing further south. Arad is somewhere here, but I'd rather go talk to all of these nations up here. Now, let's start. start uh, let's go down to Harad. Have that taken care of. And you have moved let's go to the 20th turn and see what that one has in store for us i just want to see if the ai decides to sally out or if we'll be able to start sieging them down i hope we will be able to siege them down please yes yes we march build a tower you shall see and all from here build As you will. power you shall see all from here Great stuff. Until dawn. End of turn, we made 55, which is beautiful. Leather Tanner at Mataram. War declared between Dol Guldur and Kingdom of Dale. Huh, who would have thought? Your will. As you will. I wonder, it could be the they case that the uh, Harad hasn't reached this spot yet. That could absolutely yes, be master. a possibility. Trade rights. You should be surprised they have modest well, wealth, so I might start? actually be able to get some more money out of them. 800? Be thankful. We are yes! Monet. Okay. 
Now it's time to push east, talk to um, Erebor, Dale, and Woodland Realm. And since those are pretty close, and uh, and at least they are close to the, uh, I don't know, the river that flows into the Sea of Rune, then as soon as we start getting ports built and things like that, we should be getting uh, much better trade. Thinking what would be a good thing to get here right now. Communal farming, most likely. Actually, will that give us any money? It will give us some money, so let's build it. Even though it was pretty darn expensive, if I dare say so myself. And that does not look good at all. Derwinion is freaking strong right there. But we will keep sieging and see what happens. Orders. You have already moved. You're you have me. already moved. You have yes, already moved. Master. And I think that's pretty much it, actually. So thank you so much for watching this first episode of the uh, of the Rune campaign on Divide and Conquer version 5. In the next episode, most likely, I will keep sieging um, Lest until uh, they sally out, basically. Because I want them to have as few units as possible when I fight them. And then most likely I'll have to take on Darwinian. So I'm thinking about breaking this siege and just pulling back, to be honest. Let Darwinian take this hit, and then I'll lay siege to Darwinian instead, to be honest. But that's something for the next episode. We did manage to get to unite the two Khand regions, so we can start making some cavalry... Um, some ranged cavalry, but also I think we got some better archers out of it as well. We got these... We got the Baroon Raiders and the Baroon Hunters, and also we got a general. So we did get some pretty good stuff out of it, but also we spent a couple of units, that's for sure. How may I serve? Also, I'm thinking that... Orders. I want you to move somewhere where you're a better use. Okay, but anyway, that's for next episode, so thank you so much. Any tips, tricks that would help me out in this rune campaign? I haven't seen that much content on it previously, to be honest. Uh, so I would very much appreciate if you write it down in the comments below. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next one. Oh!